I know you're going to dig this. Get, get, fu- get funky with me. in my own city in Toronto my own city I got lost in why did I get lost it was just I was on the I'm on the right street but I was in the, I was on the wrong end of the street should have been on this side but I was over there thinking I was here but I was over there here I am in Toronto my city my hometown and due to what's going on social distancing is in high effect and I'm out on a daily run to get something a little bit of exercise and I'm gonna be filming videos every time I do so something new Toronto has so many, so many famous places, so many filming locations, famous graves, uh, true crime, everything you see on my channel, uh, celebrity homes, all that stuff. Toronto has it. I just never really film in Toronto because I'm always traveling, but right now with, with, with what's going on, I can't travel. So I'm here in Toronto and it's nice. I mean, there's no traffic. So it's really nice getting around Toronto, but it's really sad what's happening with well, we know. So here I am on a little side street. Now, I got to say again, I don't know much. I didn't say, I didn't, why I say again? I haven't even said that yet. Well, I don't know too much about the royal family. I remember when Princess Diana passed away. Who can forget that week? That was, that was insanity. That was crazy. That was heartbreaking. And little Harry and William, but especially little Harry with the, note, the, the envelope on top of uh, Princess Diana's casket that said, Mummy. Just, it breaks your heart. But little Harry grew up and he met a girl from Toronto named Meghan Markle. And Meghan Markle starred on a show called, show called, you know, I said, Suits. And she rented a home here in Toronto. And I'm gonna show you that home. Like I said, not much of a royalist, I know that. But I do follow them a little bit. I know the Prince Harry and uh, Meghan Markle they are now no longer the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Duchess of Sussex, I don't think. I, I, they've been stripped or they left their royal title behind. They moved to Vancouver and then they hightailed out of Vancouver pretty fast and went to LA. So now they live in Los Angeles. But for a while here, she rented this home right here in Toronto in Seaton Village. That's where I am. And she rented it. But this house just recently sold. So somebody's living here. So we'll be a little, you know, be a little discreet. Well, you never know. It's Toronto. We're polite. Excuse me. Sorry. Excuse me. Sorry. Excuse me. Sorry. It's a lot of that. We really do say that. <sighs> eh? All right. Let's take a look at the house. Just up this street. A lot of cyclists in Toronto. Go green. That's right. As I'm gas guzzling it around town. Oh, one thing I should add is this is going to be a short video. As compared to, I mean, lots of times I do videos like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 25 minutes, half an hour, 40 minutes, you know, but some of those are coming. Lots of those are coming. What am I talking about? Like longer videos. This is just like a little test, test Toronto video. See what, uh, I don't know. 
This is a quick one to start off. A short little video. Short video. We'll see how it goes. Who knows? I could end up doing a mini series here in Toronto. Thornbirds. I don't know. All right. Megan Markle's house right here. So let's let the jogger jog past. And right there, the purple house. That was Meghan Markle's rental. And Prince Harry used to come here. <clears throat> he used to visit here all the time. This was a little, uh, her little bachelorette pad right there. Now, I don't know if I mentioned, it's a uh, three bedroom, two bath. It's got a little backyard, cute kitchen. I was reading online, it said cute kitchen. I don't know what encompasses a cute kitchen. Kitchen's a kitchen. I don't need a cute kitchen. I don't need two, I don't need three bedrooms. I don't need two baths. I need one bedroom, a toilet, and a hot pot plate. That's it. Ah, two toilets. Well, give me a toaster oven. I'm not an animal. Anyway, let me show you some pictures of what it looks like inside. So I do not own any of these pictures. They were actually sent to me personally by Meghan Markle. She's a sweetheart. We're close. We're tight. We hang. That's the front foyer. That looks like the bedroom right there. That window there will be looking out into the backyard. This is a front room, I guess. That's a nice painting. I like that. Here we go into the cute kitchen. Take a look at that. I like that oven. I don't know. And then, oh, the silver fridge. I used to think you were really rich if you had a silver fridge. Mine's white. Um, and that's looking out into the front. There's that fir, that Douglas fir or spruce tree, whatever the hell it is. This is the backyard. Okay. And here's another shot of the backyard from the opposite angle. Look at that big wooden bench. Wouldn't you like to sit there? I would. Look who's standing in front of it. Meghan Markle. She's holding a bouquet of flowers. Were they from Harry? Nope, me. So coming down the steps from Meghan Markle's house, she would have seen this view. An alley in Toronto. And if you watch my channel, you know I love my alleys. I really do. I don't know why. But there it is. Meghan Markle's house. She rented it. She was a renter. So yeah, there's another side view of the house. I love the color, actually. When I was, I do love looking at houses. I always have famous or otherwise. I like looking at cool houses. And I think the color, this deep maroon, really sets the house apart. I was shocked when I read that it was 1.6 million. But, you know, with that pedigree, the fact that Meghan Markle lived here, I think that kind of amps it up a little bit. Plus, it's a great location. Just off of downtown Toronto. Kind of north. It's a really cool location. And privacy. That big Douglas fir, I think, I don't know, would have given Harry and Meghan a lot of privacy. To do whatever they did inside. A little hide the bishop. <laughs> if you know. There we go. Meghan Markle's house. Right there. Very cool. All right, that's it. That's it. I just did a small, short video for the first time, like, ever. My videos always drag on and drone on, like I do. And I promise those are still going to come, because I can't stop doing that ever. Meghan Markle's house. This is Toronto. This is the start of my Toronto series of videos. This is April. Protect yourself. Stay inside if you can. I know I'm outside right now, but it is on an essential run. I'm going right back home now. That's it. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your loved ones. Hope you're all safe and happy. And I'm going to keep putting these videos up. And I hope you keep watching. I love you all. Peace. Out. Touch yourself, sexes. Touch yourself, sexes.